welcome to the most joyful season. It is that time of the year where you can see the red decorations as far as the eyes can see and you can feel the festive spirit up in the air. As we all know that Chinese New Year is celebrated in all around Southeast Asia, but actually each country has their own way to greet the year. So, what are the similarities and differences among these countries? Let's find it out! In the capital city of Jakarta, Indonesia, many Chinese descent go to Petak Sembilan Market in Chinatown's Glodok to shop for New Year decorations, sweet treats, and home supplies. Many also pray to the Almighty God and burn just papers in Dharma Bhakti Temple to greet the year with blessings and fortune. But other than that, there is one special thing that Indonesians wouldn't miss out. It's the year cake or Nian Gao. Originated from China, your cake is made from sugar, water, and glutinous rice flour. Each Southeast Asian country has different ways to eat the cake. For instance, Indonesians usually eat it right away, while Filipinos like to deep fry it. It is a must-have treat in every Indonesian's home who celebrate Chinese New Year, as its round shape signifies unbreakable bond, which symbolizes connection to their loved ones. While Indonesians love to celebrate the Chinese New Year in Jakarta's Chinatown, Godok, such festivities are also held in Philippines, where the past meets the present in Binondo, the oldest Chinatown in the world. Located in Manila, Binondo is the oldest Chinatown in the world that was established as a place of trade in the 16th century during the Spanish occupation. As the center of the Filipino-Chinese community, visiting Binondo is a must during Chinese New Year. Not only going for a food crawl in between restaurants or vendors, but the Lion Dance performance is a unique event that is considered as the main attraction. Chanting and whirling to the beat of the drum while accompanied by the crowd scream of joy. The lion den serves as a symbol of power and wisdom that chases away evil spirits. After being banned from performing for two years in a row due to the pandemic, the lion dance will finally start twirling again and charming the eyes of many on this year of rabbit. One thing that we should agree on is the fact that Lion Dance becomes the Chinese New Year symbols for most of the countries that celebrate it. But interestingly, in Vietnam, peach flower becomes the Chinese New Year customs for them, or what the Vietnamese call tap. As Vietnam follow the lunar calendar, Chinese New Year is also considered as the Vietnamese New Year, or known as Tet, making it the most important annual celebration in the country. Tet symbolizes the beginning of a new year and the coming of spring. Hence, the festivities are strongly associated with the presence of colorful flowers across Vietnam. One signature flower is the peach tree, or hoa dao, that represents fertility and renewal. There is even a saying, spring arrives when hoa dao starts to blossom. Therefore, people buy peach to display it at home 
as it is thought to be a demonstration of novelty, peace, and luck to greet the year. The vibrant flowers along the street are also enlivened by the public, who wear Aodai, the traditional Vietnamese long dress that enhances the charm during this joyous new year. No matter how different the celebration in each country is, Chinese New Year means it is time to remove the bad and the old and to welcome the new and the good. So may this New Year bring us prosperity and blessings and release us from any upcoming misfortune. Adelia Dinda and Dipta Diriguna, see you today.